Hello there everyone and welcome back to Old World Blues. I'm your host, Mr. Mocha Lover. But it's been a while since, at least between the first episode of this chapter, or the campaign with the Alamo chapters, to this episode, which I apologize for. I believe I recorded the second episode of the Alamo chapter. It's been a while since I played the first one. Um, but I apparently didn't upload it, and someone was asking for it. And so here it is. Um, I'll be honest, I took out Ejercito Mexicano. I thought I recorded the, the second... I'm pretty sure I recorded it, but apparently I never uploaded it or something. And the save file was deleted. Um, I probably deleted the file by accident, but here we are. I do, Like I said, I defeated these guys. It wasn't that bad. Um, I know I've, I've said that before, but regardless, um, here we are at. And we have a lot of unassimilated refugees, so let's do that. As you can see right now, we are at war with the Republic of the Rio Grande. They have attacked us, but they're also at war with the Ironmonger, so we'll see what happens. Um, so yeah, uh, I apologize for so much time between this campaign, or this, you know, the first episode and, uh, the first episode and the last episode here, so, um, my apologies. So the main, I guess, goal for us is to take out as much, as much of Texas as possible. As you see, we're doing relatively okay already. Uh, we are not exactly where we left off last time. Like I said, Ejercito Mexicano is gone. We are slowly converting all divisions to the Sentinel Division. Which is Sentinel Automated Power Armor. You know, basically, Power Armor, I think it's ever so slightly weaker than normal Power Armor. But the difference is, it doesn't cost uh, Special Forces. So, we're going to throw on as many as we want. So, which will be great arenos. And you guys do that as well. Um, are we out of Power Armor? Yes, we are. Oh my goodness. That is not good. So, we'll Lotus by one and Lotus by one as well. So, only negative 400. That's not bad. So, we do apologize for all the time, once again, um, between these two episodes. So. You guys should be able to do fine. I'm not worried about these guys. You are full power armor. Let's see. Gunslinger, Nerd Rage. Uh, invasion penalty. Life giver. Ooh, more organization would be make him even stronger. Um, power armor. Currently he has 2.8 recon. Or, yeah, recon. That's not bad. I don't mind this one. Sniper's not bad. How many traits do we have? We have one extra trait we can pick here. I would go with awareness, but I want to improve our organization and lose less people. So that's more important to me. Um, as you can see, most of our technology is already done. Over here, plane wise, we can continue on. So we're going to continue on. And if they want to keep attacking us, I'm kind of okay with that. I wouldn't take out the Ironmongers yet, but whatever. We'll get there. Power Armor will beat them all up. I hope. They should. We're going to get 1.39 political power every single day. I'm not sure. I'll be honest. I don't remember exactly what I read before. So, mutant bulwark. The mutant is a dangerous threat. We need a safeguard against those who are violent. And we worry about those who hide it. I'm not sure I read about these ones. Brother runways. With all that knowledge we have available regarding aviation, we might as well start putting it to use. Clear sky. Get out of your plane. Alamo of the skies. Any brother that fights in the skies is a safe brother. From the safety they can provide for uh, below, for those below as well. The more we rule the skies, the safer we will be. Draft the results. Fort Hood is conquered, taken, it is now ours. It is secrets unlocked. Who could have imagined we would ever achieve this? But we did. Long live the brotherhood, long live the elder. Old world boon. So tonight, as we had break bread together, let us forge together something new. Something strong, something we can be proud of. Something we can build upon. And we'll preserve what's best of what's come before and use it. And one day we'll reclaim what was lost. Let us forge a brotherhood of steel from High Elder Roger Maxim. So we did this one already. As we're doing, delve deeper. All those secrets laid bare before us. Flirt Hood, the USSSA headquarters in Houston and Corpus Christi Naval Base have been explored. There must be more in between the lines. Corporate leftovers. All of these military compounds had something in common, something rather unusual, or at least unusual to those who are aware of the dark days before the war. Uh, why still, why would an enemy co or energy company be so interested in pre-war military bases? Yeah, makes you really think, don't it? Yeah, they're breaking through in the Ironmongers, which is not good. Uh, so we'll see what happens. Uh... Oh wow, they're really trying to hurt us badly. Uh, they have a lot of manpower. You guys have quite a bit of manpower. It's Texas. What do you expect? Uh, we just need more power armor. And we're actually making a lot of power armor. And we have this and all stuff here too, which is great. Or by one, maybe. If we can afford that. Doggos? Yes. That would be delightful to have more doggos. Now, these guys can kick some serious butt. That would be phenomenal. Um, you know, with power armor here too, 
Oh, we actually might be able to push in a little bit, so let's see what happens. Draft the results. Meticulous research, cross-referencing, and correlating of dozens of data snippets has given us some insight. All these military bases we have visited had direct access to something called Poseidonet, some form of internal communications network spanning the entirety of the pre-war U.S. related to Poseidon Energy, a massive pre-war conglomerate of dozens of different companies, primarily in the energy sector. Even better, we believe that with all the pieces we have found, we might be able to gain access to this still partially operational network. Ooh, let's proceed with caution. Yeah, if we can push hard into here, that'd be great. Um, no guarantees, but that would be awesome, awesome, awesome. Because these guys can only do so much with only there being 11 divisions of them. Send some you know, prospectors out. We have enough money for now. Uh, do we have... Also, I did Quare Nosa when we took out Santa Ana. Uh, do we have a trade node? If we don't, that's not good. But if we do, that'd be great. Now I want to exploit it. Is the Alamo... A tra oh, the Alamo is not a trade node. Oh. If it was, it'd probably make Texas really OP. So, or at least more OP. So, y'all, just do the best you can. Cool. Um, obviously, if you take Laredo, we still need to take way more up here, too. Um, I want you guys to get right here, too. Yeah, if you get right... Oh, I was going to encircle the border. Just beat them up as much as you possibly can. We've lost a thousand already, which is quite a few. We killed off 4.4, 6.2, 4,000 ish. Which overall is not bad, but you know, whatever. Yeah, head into there too, because you can. We're just gonna need more output. We just need so much output, it's not even funny. Um, in the meantime, we max this out as well. We max this out down here as well. I'll get some more defense, that'd be great. And you might as well do that too, we just help our guys out just a little bit, get more army XP, you know the good stuff. Mutant Bulwark. Corporate Leftovers. I'll be honest, I can't remember where this stuff, but United Texan Front. It doesn't feel so good to go crawling back to Texans, but what must be done, or survival requires putting aside our objectives, may God have mercy on our souls for abandoning our charge. Yeah. Control... Uh, court Tlaloc. Dominating machines, nuclear devastation, nothing but ruin came from this place, still to protect humanity from itself, we need to understand. As best we can. Overall, 74 divisions, 26. That's literally 100 divisions combined to take out. Power armor v. Power armor. You just pierce each other. Yeah. Can you actually do that? You might be able to. We're starting to run out of divisions on this side here, but whatever. Um, yeah, power armor's not looking as good as it was earlier. God dang, can you not break through here? I hate how strong these guys are. They've got to be losing enough manpower by now, right? 3,000, that's definitely a drop. They still have 9,000, how? They have no more planes. we got Mr. Handys. Sam so empty tank. It's just going to be a grind against these guys. That's pretty much all it is, so. Um... Go and do that, too. Because they could encircle us here, which would be a very bad thing. Ooh, did you get two more divisions here, though? Or four? Yeah, two more divisions. Nice. If you can do that and encircle another division, that'd be great. Yeah, I'm going. To, we're going to stop attacking maybe later in a little bit, but I'll see you when we get this a little bit more closely. Poseidon, done. IFF, the Enclave, uh, a foe that brought us to almost extinction before the NCR wiped them out back west. We hid as best we could to avoid the wrath, unhinged without morals, and seeing themselves as successor to the pre-war U.S. of A. government. And it seems that Poseidon Energy was deeply intertwined with this pre-war shadow government, consisting of industrialists, high-ranking officials, and even some presidents. Purely a contingency to continue the government that they said in case of a catastrophe, but our records tell a different story. They tried to use a virus to eradicate everyone on the continent, to repopulate with whoever they managed to store away in secret bunkers. A genocide, one that would have to reduce humanity's gene pool so drastically, we might as well have surrendered and become inbred. Regardless of that, though, the Enclave used Poseidon extensively, from automated security, 
communications, and many other secret things. We could even trick the defenses to believe that we are them with what our scribes and knights have created, a fully functional IFF module. With it, we are our enclave, at least to those who don't ask too many questions. We are enclave if it suits us. Of course, with this one, dominating machines, nuclear devastation, nothing but ruin came from this place. So to protect humanity from itself, we need to understand. Hoppage of destruction. Famous words spoken out of the most destructive weapons humanity ever developed. Some circuits are best left buried. Texaco oil rig. <clears throat> Sometimes when the night is clear and the moon is being reflected upon the waves, we can see those blinking lights on the horizon and sending it west. Well, it'll be added at a later date. It called back. Out there in those fossil waters, standing like a bulwark against the backdrop of endless ocean, a rather dinky and derelict oil rig, most likely having long exhausted all of its resources. Uh, yet it seems to still be alive, and after we pinged it, we knew the truth. Our halls were soon answered, we found a bunch of pre-war zombies housed within the place. They told us of their entire story without us even asking, then offered to come over for a talk. They had met other survivors before, but those, <clears throat> they seemed far less polite than we did. Call, didn't call themselves the Enclave before the survivors did. Flooding erupted, and the survivors were no more, but their technology remained. Advanced flying vertical takeoff vehicles, alongside schematics for them. We'll be ready once these ghouls want to set foot on Texan soil. Let's take the birds and leave the ghouls. And this, everybody, is kind of where we're at now. Um, as you can see, the Texan Brotherhood is actually doing really well. We're doing fine up here. Um, not too bad, but the Texan Brotherhood is they're, they're still expanding. And they're going to definitely be a group here that we got to figure out as we fight, as we're slowly taking out the rest of, uh, well, the Rio Pact. So, luckily, we're not doing too badly. Um, yeah, I'm not really too concerned about that. Then again... Looks like the Legion might be getting a little antsy up here, too, which is not good, but whatever. I'm just worried about the Texan Economic Union, because they will be pretty darn strong when they unify, so that's something we really got to look out for. They have uh, was it Shields Army, Unity of Austin, um, Two Bad Gang, which is fine, Lone Star. They got a hundred, oh my god, a hundred four divisions, which is insane. So, yeah, these guys are going to be a big old pain in the butt, so... We should wrap these guys up pretty soon. Uh, oh, what happened over here? San Francisco chapter is doing okay. A royal is doing very pokey and whatnot. So, okay. Well, we're also doing the transports so we can get to the gunships. Uh, jet attack planes, just please. What do we have over here? Joshua Wolford. I don't even want to look at that stuff. Uh, go to this, please go ahead. But power in the capacitors. The problem seems to be twofold. Failing equipment is compounded by the lack of adequate power, which we'll address next. <clears throat> and we have enough political power to go and court more stuff. And sign more engineers. Um, we can't delay, afford to delay any longer. We'll resign most of our engineers to the Space Center to rapidly increase the project's progress. One final advancement. The work is almost done. Combining all of our efforts so far, we can construct a vast and improved Space Center capable of broadcasting across the continent, which would be a great thing. Sons of Kaga looking like they're doing pretty darn well, too. Whoa, Kaga. A Royal's Exile, huh? Can form a Royal. Oh, and we got him. Nice. Apologize for not showing you all this stuff, but I just got bored of it, sort of. At least these guys, because I don't want to take out these guys. I don't mind getting the, the Texas parts of us, but like everything else, I'm going to get it. If you about this, please go ahead as well. Um, better consumer goods and more stability. Less caps income. It's all right, why not? A little assault weaponry, nice. Cool. Basic drill. Cool. More sentinels, yes, please. Um, In the meantime, let's go and just find these guys, maybe. So, they're guaranteed by Shale's army, which is fine with me. Uh, yeah, Unity Boston, that's going to set us up to be going with a lot of people then. Uh, how about this? You guys do this here. You guys focus on that group. You guys focus over there. And then you guys focus over here too. And if we can push in hard and fast enough, we should do alright. And we're out of planes, god dang it. Um, power armor wise, we got 1700 pieces, which is actually pretty nice. Uh, we don't need this stuff. We want definitely more planes. It's going to come in handy. We're making more military factories. Plenty of political power. We're in every cap for the war machine. Manpower is not an issue at all. Oh, and everyone's killing each other too. Nice! Um, over here, artillery. Decorated hero. That's not bad. Research speed, military factory construction speed. That's fine. Uh, some are engineers. It's fine. Um, yeah, overall this wasn't bad, but still. With 300 PP, what else? Mm, law bringers, is that really worth it? 199, that's not really worth it, but what else am I going to spend my PP on? Also, now that we have Gloria and the TAA estate, we actually promote the node and whatnot. So that would actually be really nice. Or whatever it is around here. Oh, wait, we can begin a route. To Monterey. 
That was better. Begin the route to Gloria. So now we should be getting quite a bit more money, which is very good. As these guys are power armor. You're a good mixture, but not really good mixture because you're not gonna become paladins, but sent no detachments. And you guys are actually like actual power armor, so that's fine. Go ahead and train everybody real quick. Um, okay, so they're actually killing each other here. Interesting. Grab some because you can. It's fine. Our plane bombers. Get more millies. We're just lacking millies at this point. Saves would be nice too, but you know, whatever. Cool. Cool. We're just gonna get a lot of divisions. Having a full thing of manpower or ma uh, power armor. Simulation drive. It's not bad. Just gonna keep simulating stuff. For Hondo, nice. Hopefully we can do well here. We do have some open holes, which is not good. Ah. So it's kind of a three-way war right now, so instead of doing that. Let you guys come down here and slowly focus on this group first. And then final advancement would be nice. Old world political guide would be great. Rubber refinement. Get some truck Renos. Our plane bomber's not worth it. Now, are they going to attack us like crazy? I kind of hope they do. But I guess not, huh? Uh, they're also attacking them there too, which is fine, whatever. See what you can do. We should be able to do quite well here. Then again, we should be able to quite do quite well everywhere, but you never know. Um, do that anyways. We're gonna get enough army XP as is. Uh, air superiority wise, we'll be fine. So the biggest issue that we'll have is that the Texan Economic Union, which means we're gonna guard all of this and then this. We don't have enough divisions for that currently. So go ahead and expand by five more. And you can just go in there. This repeats itself. Goodbye. As we should be shredding them quite a bit. Hey, we have an equal amount of divisions. I mean, I'm pretty sure ours are better than theirs, but whatever. Who's counting? He's keeping track of that type of stuff. I'm totally not. One final advancement. Nice. Sophisticated electronic tech. Plea, and plea for help. As painful as it is to admit it, we need send no chance. We need aid no matter what that form might take. Uh, I kind of want to see what that would be like, so... I'm going to take everything here anyways. I'm going to leave six divisions here. Because, my god, we're not just going to have enough. We really are not. Especially when grinding out all the other manpower. And we'll just... More divisions here, anyways. If we could just push up through here hard and fast enough, we can just hold the line here and hold, 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 because they will go insane against us. We actually okay. Uh, we already have some forts there. That's actually really good. How long would it take for us to justify? Ten, oh, 10 days? Nice. Yeah, that actually might be the best bet. Because if we let Texas form, and they might still form with Lone Star and the Texan Brotherhood. That'd be quite bad for us. They have only 4,000 manpower, which is not bad, actually. Chobang. They just have a crap ton of divisions. Doesn't mean they're any good. My gosh, they got a crap ton of divisions. Um, here, doggos. Sure, why not? So 
So let's save real quick. Save Arenos. And see if we can go to war and do well. If we do not, then we're not going to do well. And then we'll be sad and we'll have an okay time. As long as we can push in hard and fast enough, that's all that matters. Get some goods. Nice. Ah, they're not at war with us yet. Ah, they might not go to join the war. Okay, that's interesting too. If they don't join the war, that'd be really good too. We might also want to go to the war with these guys as well. Unexpected aid. It seems as if our plea or continued efforts to improve communications with lost souls have had a knock on effect. Another group having heard a request for aid, they came with faces like devils. Not from the west, but the northeast. They descended from great airships looking like salvation itself. The Midwest is here. Saviors in horn and beige armor. Does Barnicky Barnicky still live? Ooh. Oh, advanced technical armor. Ooh, that's cool. McDevil, Snake, Snake, Wilma's Whirlwinds, Robot Stranglers, Veterans of the Midwest, Steel Breakers, Steel Breakers Part 2. Nice. And are these actual power armor divisions or what? Doesn't matter, I'll throw them on here anyways. We'll just convert them to our normal power. Oh, we can. But still nice. Um, get more stability because you can. Very nice. I'm worried that if I leave the area, they'll come sailing through, but we might just be able to push in hard and fast enough through here. Maybe. Oh man, when they do force defense, they just stand no chance. Oh, they're in circle now too. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, they're just dropping hard. Oh, they're dropping hard. I love when they drop hard. Let's reach your speed, that's okay with us. Um Yeah, I just go with more organization. Organization is so critical to have enough of. There you go. Nice. Yeah, I'll take everything. It's fine, I don't care. Cool. Not really fast enough. We do this. Ten days. Not bad to us, because they want to defend here, here, ports, and that's it. Now, obviously, we won't give any, anything else to anybody else, but whatever. Ah, uh, yeah. Thirty armor. 24, 3, 8, 55, 5, 13, 70. Speed is 5 and a half. Speed is, what was it? 5, so. Technical armor for the win. Return empty handed. Why would you even go then? All you do is return empty handed. Auto saving and what? There you go. Yeah, I can't imagine they could do very much against us. And then we might start just fighting these guys too. 25 days ain't bad. Texan Brotherhood. No, no, no. That's our territory. Keep going, y'all. Don't get encircled either. Everything you do, the encircling. By shale, they'll be defeated. 
Oh, Dessa, eh? A lot of people here. Keep assimilating them. Am I going to give this territory to anybody else? Nope. It's all ours. Alright, so now they're going to be really pissed off at us, which is fine with us. Do that. Do that. And I'll probably try to naval invade as well. Just being honest. I'm not so sure about the matrons and such like them, but we'll see. Plenty of manpower though now, which is great. But we'll see you about taking these guys out as well.
Alright everyone, so there we go. We didn't get all of Texas, but we did get a huge chunk of Mexico, so I figured that's pretty good. Um, I apologize if I already posted this, but I just, I didn't find it within my, on my channel, so. If I did, I apologize, but hey, if you enjoyed the video and campaign, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching, have a great Alamo rest of your day.